How much should a man spend on a wedding ring? Oh man, it should be at least 25% of his salary. I'd say at least like 10K. Mine personally is going to cost around um, 600K. Uh, $600,000. And then, and then you're broke. 4 to 6K. What about I'd say 5 to 6K. How much should a wedding ring cost? The most expensive thing out there. A million dollar ring? Yeah. What's the lowest amount of money a guy should spend on a wedding ring for you? Oh, it should be like for sure 30, 40K. I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm a guess that it, it probably costs about at least like $500,000. I don't really know, but I would at least hope somebody's spending like 30000 to 50, right? Easily 75. 75. Thousand. Why is that? That's what I deserve. <laughs> That's what I deserve. Of course, of course. All, all of you deserve that, of course. If you cannot spend your entire bank account on an African girl, you honestly don't deserve one. I don't get how women get so entitled. I don't get it. Because I'm not one of them. Men are trash. Men are trash. Yes. Describe your ideal man. Less than 1% type Describe of, of guy. Describe him. All has money more than I would make. Minimum amount of money that you would want your man to make a year or net worth. Over a million a year. Out I don't want to date someone that makes more, less money than I do. I would a guy who makes a million dollars a year. And I mean this sincerely. Why would he want to marry you? Crickets. Crickets, she doesn't know. Nobody asked her this in her life. Of course. I've just discovered the reason why it's so hard to find a good guy dating in 2023. And it's not okay. because there aren't any left and that all men are disgusting and all men are trash. That is completely false, no matter what you hear from other girls on TikTok. The truth is that the good guys are done with dating. They would rather be single and have their peace than be in a True. relationship and not be treated correctly. They're done True. playing the games, okay? Girls not being monogamous, them not texting them back, them giving them mixed signals, them opening up and sharing their feelings and then a girl breaking up with them they don't yep. want to deal with that they'd rather by the way guys stay to the end because today we're having a really good debate a debate battle that will get me so many hate messages but i really don't care so stay till the end work a lot go home play some video games watch a movie and spend yep. time with their dog or themselves than ever have to deal with women anybody else realize that children born in 2023 potentially okay. live to see the year 3000 <laughs> Three thousand. <laughs> I knew people are going to live longer, but <laughs> till the year three thousand, <laughs> and she will find a man. A man will take her like this. Separated. I got the birthday girl and my wife. Separated. Separate. Separate. Yeah. Hey. So are you the only man at this table? Why are we doing separate tags? It's all women here. No, but I'm not. I'm not responsible for paying. Them. Can you see, guys, how feminism goes out the window when the check comes? He's the only man at the table, so he should pay. Everybody, I got the birthday but girl. You invited everybody. You invited all of us. I didn't invite you, <laughs> but I didn't sign up for that. Okay, there's nobody else doing but the. But you participate. I know we got you. I don't. I don't care how y'all do it. Well, I'm sorry. I did, but you always pay. Like you're the only man at the table. What happened? to 50 50 what happened to being equal oh that's no longer an issue <laughs> when the check comes well you're not no, gonna pay the check but I, I don't i'm not obligated i got my whole family it's yeah. seven hundred dollars for this whole table and it's my birthday it's just seven hundred dollars <laughs> she talks like she's a millionaire it's only seven hundred dollars this is your podcast host. it's this only seven hundred dollars it's only you being cheap. Are you kidding me right you now? You honestly being cheap right now. Okay. First no, if that was the case, I would have just, I just took you out. Are you being Dre, are you going to let him sit here with a whole table full of women? I really feel like it's not his responsibility. And when y'all get a husband? I'm, oh. I'm there. I'm there. Oh, I'm, there, I'm, there, I'm, there, I'm sorry. I'm there, I have a, I do have a husband though. Hold on. Wait a minute. Thank y'all. No, so Donnie, you're good because it's your birthday, but y'all we're gonna chip it. You need to leave. I'm not paying for anything. I'm not paying for anything. No, I'm not paying for anything. I'm gonna tell you tomorrow. No. I don't get how these kinds of women find a man. How much of a sim can you be?
How much of a sin can you be to have a woman that is so entitled like this? No, he's no, at the I'm table. It is okay. Today is gonna be a fire video. I'm gonna get so much hate, but I don't care. I really don't. Can you please separate, separate the checkbooks? No, that's what I'm saying. That's ghetto. Like, you don't come to no establishment like that talking about splitting checks. We back with another video. I'm here with Shaquiqui. What? Shaquiqui. <laughs> Who? Are you smart? House, I mean, then a Are fifth grader? No, but I mean, I'm. Shaquiqui. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how smart are you? 6.5. I would like to see it. All right, look, my first question. If you was born eight years ago, how old would you be? 18. <laughs> Shaquiqui. 18? <laughs> That's wrong. I'm 24. Uh, 20. <laughs> Thank you. So quick, quick. All right, go ahead and continue. Eight years ago, how old would you be? 16. <laughs> 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 oh my God. And she will still get a man. That's the problem. That's why everything is messed up right now. That's the problem. What's a Fallon Park box? It's for Fallon. It's for women. So only women can park here? Yes. Why? Because they're a little bit bigger. The spots are bigger? Yeah. What the fuck? Well, welcome so you to live Europe. With your dad and your girlfriend asked to move in with you two. Parents really don't like her that much. Uh, me personally, I have a uh, specific type. I like them goth girls. And them goth girls are packed full of red flags. <laughs> so those red flags turn into green flags for me. How long have uh, you been dating I again? Those are the guys that will never learn. No matter what I tell them, no matter what everybody tells them, they will never change. So sad, man. Well, six, seven, eight, nine months now, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> so you're doing this. <laughs> She's moving in. Yeah. I suppose. No, okay. Let's commit to it. Okay. I know it's it's will freak you out a little bit to commit to it. I mean, okay. what's the dynamic going to be like? Who's cooking meals? For context, I'm half Chinese, I'm half American. She's full white, and she's way more Asian than I am. <laughs> She, she's got ramen bowl teeth, noodles for a living. I'm over here like, damn, I just got out of work at 7 o'clock. Of course she does that because that requires no work. Just put some hot water. Where's my steak and curly fries at? She's like, yeah, I just made some ramen. I got you some uh, sushi here as well. Man, get that out of here. I can only be Chinese on Tuesdays and Sundays. <laughs> There's a study that's been going on since 1938. Longest study ever okay. to this day. It's called the Harvard Study of Adult Development. Their aim was to find out what creates a healthy, happy life. And so they looked at the lives of different metrics, over 700 men, their spouses, and then their children. And it's a longitudinal study, which means it's like being studied over time. Basically, what they found is that one of the biggest indicators of predictors of health is actually not exercise. It's not whether you smoke too much or drink too much or don't do those things. It's actually the quality of your relationships. And so even when they account for smoking, alcohol, drug taking, it's still demonstrating that relationships have the most profound effect on us. And I'm... But we don't need a man. We're boss B. We're fine alone. We don't need a man. Saying they have... We're happy. Physiological implications, not just psychological. And so they know that relationships have some kind of isolated effect on our experience as humans. Questions of the day. Where have all the nice guys gone and why don't men want to get married? Ladies, simply put, nice guys have learned they're not wanted. Sure, every woman yep. says she wants a Prince Charming who will treat her like a queen, but then you disrespect him, his family, his property, eventually break up with him and get back with your ex who you talk so much trash. Yeah, guys, that's the first question you should ask when she says, I don't, I want a nice guy. I don't want toxic men. Okay, tell me about your ex. Tell me about the other ex. Tell me about the ex before. Oh, well, they were all toxic. Okay, that you are attracted to toxic men, not the nice guy. You don't want the nice guy. Even though you realize that toxic men are not good for you, you still want to get back with your ex or find the man that is similar to your ex. You don't want the nice guy. Just ask her that. Ask her about her, her past. Just coming from a nice guy who's experienced this on multiple occasions, it leaves you a little bit jaded. Nice guys have learned to not be so nice anymore. Secondly, why don't men want to get married? Why should we? So to prove I love you further, I have to sign a legally binding document that leaves me financially responsible for all of your choices. Yeah. 
just following that logic, here's a prenup. If you're truly getting married for love and the financial situation doesn't matter, yeah. you shouldn't have a problem signing it. After True. 30 years, men have finally learned by example that the only important thing they bring to a relationship is what they can provide. Yeah. Only women, babies, and pets are loved unconditionally. You as a man are only loved for what you can provide for a woman. When you can't provide anymore, it's over. That's, that's, that's the truth, guys. You can fight me all you want in the comments, but that's the truth. Reality won't change just because you don't like it. Marriage is all risk and no reward. Because ladies, what do you actually bring into the marriage? Decent looks and a bad attitude? Yeah, that's not gonna last. Men have finally figured out that if it does go... It doesn't matter how good she looks, if she doesn't bring peace to you, and if you're stressed, it won't last. It doesn't matter how good she looks. We're going to be the ones paying for it for the rest of our lives. And yeah. that's why marriage is becoming a thing of the past. Stitch or comment below and let me know what you think. And have a nice day. For feminists doing a that's empowering, yet you're relying on creepy, disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bills, which is probably the most degrading thing in the entire world. Whereas yeah. actually, if you were in an office, it would be a lot less degrading. Yes, but they don't have the skills required to get a normal job, a high-paying job. They're relying on what was given to them at birth. That doesn't require any skill. You just got lucky. You have no skills. That's why you rely on making money on OnlyFans, because you have no, no skills. So why would a guy want to marry you? Because he can't be proud of you. So what do you bring to the table? Nothing. Less than nothing. You could actually have respect in an office. And do not get offended when you come into the dating pool and dating world and you are seen as a low-value woman. In my True. eyes, you are. In every man's eyes, you are. And uh, don't get offended when people don't want to marry you, don't want you to be their yeah. girlfriend. You're going to hit the real world eventually. She's going to hit the wall. <laughs> um, it's just a amount of time. And no one with any level of like a brain would ever respect someone who does yeah, but the problem is there are so many weak, simp men that have no brain. Just don't complain about the outcome. Go get your yeah. bag. Yes. And then deal with no one thinking that you're a valuable human and also bringing just shame to your family name as well. Father finds out his daughter created an OnlyFans. Here's his reaction. So I've kind of joked about it before starting an OnlyFans. Can you see it in his eyes? That's the point when you realize you failed as a father. But it's, it's also not what you think either. I also feel like I have assets that I could capitalize. Yes, I don't have skills, so let me capitalize on what I was born with. Because I have no other skills on how to make money. But I expect my boyfriend or my husband to be a billionaire. To be a leader, to be very smart, so she, so he can lead me. But I have no skills. I have no. I have nothing to offer the world besides my body, of course. Eyes on, and call them assets. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah, assets, are gonna feel like this is like because I don't respect myself. The one thing that I do want to make clear is that this is because I respect myself. So of this course, is really my fault because I yeah. failed to become a billionaire. Absolutely. Before, Absolutely. Before you became yeah. an adult. So it's all about money. It's not about being empowered. If her dad was a, a billionaire, she wouldn't have done this. So it's all about money. It's not about, oh, I want to be empowered. I want to do what I want. No, no. You just don't have any other skills to make money. So you resort to that. It's so simple. If I'd been a billionaire, yeah. you'd be like, yep. there's no point. You didn't realize that your child was going to be just like money hungry and business, business drawn. <laughs> yes, of course. When you have an OnlyFans, you're so business drawn. Here you go, dads. And here I am. That's so stupid. Your bag so that your daughter doesn't have to. <laughs> you like a man because he's a man, right? Because of his masculine energy. You wouldn't yeah. like a man that talks like this and, and moves his hands like this, right? No. So men don't like when you talk like a man because... Yeah, and when you act like a man and you're all independent, we don't want to date another man. We want a lady. You know how a lady acts? Not like a man.
they no. they want a woman. The thing is that like you can't be mad at men for wanting feminine women. Are men unattracted to independent women? Yes. No. It's just yes. that annoying when you make being independent your entire personality. Because those independent women are just average adults. Oh, you make your own money? You cook your own food? You do your own laundry? Wow, you're the average adult man. Like, you don't see a bunch of men going around saying, we're such independent men. Yeah, such an independent man. <laughs> How cringy would that be? So yeah, have fun listening to Cardi B or Billie Eilish or Taylor Swift or whatever. That's tough. Yeah, but they will make the real money. And you will just lose in life listening to their advice. And you will be alone with lots and lots and lots of cats. Men are also realizing that marriage is not only worthless, they're also coming to learn that it can very well be catastrophic of course. for them. See, you can say something like this because you're a female. And for females, it's just a matter of, oh, I don't like this anymore, or I'm just bored, let's call yeah. this a wash. But then they take stuff from the man. See, that's the part that logical, insane people take issue with. Yes, but women are not logical, and they're very emotional. If you want to walk away from a marriage because it means nothing to you anymore, or you just want to move on because you're bored, then walk away and leave that person in peace. Yeah. Leave that person as a whole. Leave them as they are. Take Yes, but I struggled with, with him so much during marriage. I deserve that money. Oh, and he did this, so I'm going to be spiteful and not let him see his child. Of course, of course. Nothing. But if a person is going to eviscerate someone, yeah, we can stick our noses in and we can judge. Because as it stands for... Everybody can judge everybody. You can judge me. If you make anything that is public, that is online, it's your right to an opinion. It's your right to judge people. I get hate comments and I will get a lot of hate comments on this video, but I really don't care. That's the business I'm in. I have to deal with the consequences. Number of women out there, marriage means nothing. It holds no value other than the fact that she can cash in on it when she feels she wants to walk away and get some kind of return. Yeah. So for women, marriage makes sense because it's men, like no. money in the bank. It's almost like a 401k. You can cash it out when you need it. You take a little bit of a penalty, but it's like money in the bank. Can you blame men for not wanting to play into that system anymore? How do you write women so well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. Manosphere, I'm a man, and I like to listen to your videos for some weeks, but today you told us that you don't want to have kids. And at the same time, you praise traditional families. A family isn't traditional and complete without children. A real man, of course, also wants to raise childs, children. And the real man never chooses the easy path. But for me, you chose the easy way, not wanting to have stress with kids. That makes you implausible and not qualified to talk about real men. So I'm out here. Sorry. Yeah, I get a lot of comments like this because I'm not a real man. Uh, the other day I got another comment that... Uh, I'm an alpha, and an alpha doesn't listen to anybody, and if I want to date a single mother, I will date a single mother. Or I get comments like, I'm not a high-value man. Listen to me, do you know what a high-value man really is, or a real man as you call it, or an alpha? An alpha is, the, the term alpha comes from the animal kingdom. An alpha is a leader. And all the other animals respect his leadership and respect him. You can't be an alpha or a real man or a high value man as whatever you want to call it without other men thinking that you are a high value man. So if other men don't see you that way, you're not an alpha, you're not a high value man, you're not a real man. So why don't I, I want children? 
because I don't deserve to have children. You understand? I don't have the patience for a kid. Plus, there are other stuff that I don't want to talk about online. So if I can't be the best father I can be to a kid, I don't deserve to have a kid. In fact, a lot of men don't deserve to have kids. I know I'll get so many hate comments. No, you don't. You actually don't. Because you don't know what raising a kid means. You don't deserve anything in life. You have to work for it. What work did you put in to want to have a family? Did you look what school he's going to go in your district where you are, in your neighborhood? What if, if that school is a left school? Do you have saved up 20, 30 K in your bank in case something happens, in case you lose your job? Do you have health insurance for the kid? What if he have something happens? Do you have money? Did you plan everything in your life so you can raise the child properly? No, most of you don't even think about that. But yet you think you deserve a child. It's my goddamn right as a, as a man, as a human. Yes, but that doesn't mean you deserve to have a child. If you think you deserve to have a kid just because you're a man, you're just as delusional, as delusional as the women I react to. Look at this comment. Look at other comments. No wonder you can't get a woman or your woman left you because you're not a leader. I wouldn't want to be with you as a woman. If, you're, if your thinking is like this, yes, and I don't want to get married. Oh, then you're not a traditional man. I've never said I was a traditional man. I've never said that, ever. I don't want to get married, why? Because there are only disadvantages as a man to get married. Oh, so you're not a religious man, because in the Bible, I don't care. I'm not stupid, I'm logical. I don't do things just because it says somewhere that I should do it like that. That's just stupid to me. Yes, I'm gonna get so many hate comments. Please leave all your hate comments so I can laugh at them. I really don't give a shit. If you don't think about every action in your life, you're just stupid. That's the truth. I know, and the truth hurts. But that's the actual truth. It doesn't benefit a man to get married. In the West, it doesn't with the laws that are... And if you ignore those laws because of religion or because of your... I don't care. Whatever it is, you are just stupid. And I'm not a stupid man. And I will never be a stupid man. Okay, the next question. Can someone explain something to me? When my mother died, the woman I had been for, with for five and a half years suddenly accused me of cheating and left me for another man. When my father told me he was not my father, the woman I was seeing ghosted me. And now I heard about Gonzalo Lira's death and it hit me pretty hard. And you guessed it, my girlfriend dumped me, claiming I had dumped her. Why every time someone in my life dies, my girlfriend dumps me? I don't know if this is true or not, my guy. But if this is true, it's because you're too emotional. You were more emotional when you're mother died you were emotional when your father told you that he's not your father just just listen i don't know who gonzalo lira's death is but you said it hit me pretty hard stop being so emotional why did i tell you you shouldn't cry in front of your girlfriend if they see you too emotional they can't consider you as a leader anymore they can't see you you're not stoic you should be the rock in that relationship she can't trust you anymore. That's why I said not all women will do this, but it's not worth the risk. You want to cry, go cry to your friends, your male friends. Go, ahead, go to the gym, get your, all your stress out like I do. Don't cry in front of your girlfriend. That's why. You're too emotional and women can't rely on a man that is too emotional. I know, I know it's bad and, and 
You should be emotional when something like this happens to you. But you can deny it all you want. This is reality. You either accept it or you, you'll keep doing this. Okay, the next question. What about those of us who are already married and only recently encountered your videos? What if we vet our wife and discover red flags, but now it's too late to walk away? <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Because if you get divorced, she will get half your stuff. It's bad. That's, that's why I tell young people to see my videos so they don't get in a situation like this. Now it's too late. You can walk away. You can walk away and maybe you'll be happier, but you will lose a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money and stress. I don't know what to tell you, my guy. You made that decision. Now you have to live with the consequences. Exactly how I made this video and now I will have to live with all the hate messages. Hope you enjoyed the videos, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.